Um, the best learning experience I've had as a coach was working at the Stanford swim camp uh, when Richard Quick was still there. And that changed the, the way I do everything. It was probably the most influential two years uh, I've had. Richard passed away a few years ago. And since then, I, I've stopped working camps uh, because I couldn't really find what I wanted. Uh, so my goal with this camp is to do it similar to the way he did and kind of add our own twist to it. The Brockport camp is the level of detail that we're going to go into the technique. All the sessions will be led with an underwater microphone. Um, I will lead all the sessions myself. They won't be led by a, an outsourced coach or a student. Uh, and they're going to be able to hear me underwater and do everything step by step. Yeah, the way that the drills work is, is I'm a big believer that just doing a drill doesn't make you better. You have to do the drill better to get better. Uh, one thing a lot of swimmers don't understand is if they have a flaw in their stroke, to them that feels normal and it feels natural. And changes feel strange. And we're going to try to, to kind of push them out of their comfort zone a little and get to understand that that strange feeling is actually your stroke improving. It's, it's not wrong. Yeah, probably one of the things I'm most excited about with this camp is bringing in Chris Ritter. Uh, Chris is one of the best swimming minds I know. We actually met uh, working at Stanford in 2005. Chris is going to do a functional strength analysis, whereas he will individually test every kid at the camp to identify any, maybe any flaws in their, their strength or any potential injuries they would have. And every kid is going to have exercises specific to them posted online that they're going to be able to look at throughout the year.